More drama, more news, more breaking news. But I want to focus on not the news. I want to focus on us right now. I want to focus on, hell, I want to make sure we focus. And the one thing that takes you out of focus is lies. And it's taking us out of focus in terms of what we need to be focusing on in the country. Need we focusing on with our jobs. African-American businesses are being devastated right now. And trust me, lies have a lot to do with that. Because if we were telling the truth about this coronavirus, we would be in the same situation nationally that New York is in terms of how well they're doing with their state. They had the highest rate of infection for COVID-19. Now they have the lowest rate. You know why? Because their leader, their governor told them the truth about what was going on, about what they had to do and how they could get past it. And they didn't rush to reopen the state. As a result, they're in a better position than anybody else in the country. You know, I know some of you all are saying, you know, it's important to tell the truth regardless. You know, if it's a pandemic or not, we got a pandemic going on. We got a protest, a worldwide protest going on. We got 40 million people out of work. We got a we got all kind of stuff going on. And the one thing you don't need during a time like this, man, is a distraction to deal with a partner who's lying to you about what's going on with, with somebody else. With enough. Come on, really? During a pandemic. And it's going on. And I was like, damn, I need to check in with my people about this, man. I need to check in uh, with my people about what's going on in their relationships, man. Because while all this madness is going on, we are still being impacted in our relationships. And what about the employers that are lying? We got employers lying to their employees about how safe it is to come back to work. That's some BS right there. How important is it right now for y'all to have honesty and transparency in your government in your employment, and in your relationship. This? this is Nina. How are you? Nina, turn that computer and radio down. Turn it down, Nina. It's down. What's up? What's going on? What's up with you? How you doing? I'm doing fantastic. So I'm watching your show, and it's mm-hmm. talking about how important is it to tell the truth. Yes. You know, during the pandemic. Mm-hmm. Your thoughts? Oh, I think it's absolutely, everybody should tell the truth regardless. I mean, it is still very much real. I think it's downplayed by our younger generation um, just because it was played up that, you know, the younger people just wouldn't get it. But, you know, like I tell my kid, he is 16 years old. Mm -hmm. He loves going out with his friends. But I like put a stop to it. You just have to stay isolated until we know better. You know, here's the thing that's got to be tough on parents. All right, Nina, I understand we have kids, they want to go out. You know, you can only box them up for so long. But when you let your children out the house, you got to understand that they are possibly and probably if they're hanging out with a bunch of other kids bringing COVID back home. So I'm trying to understand, man. I mean, how much trust do we give our kids under circumstances like this when something can kill us? And especially if you got older parents home, how the hell y'all deal with it when you got older parents at home, like grandparents who live with you? How do you even take that risk, Nina? I try to be sensitive to it. I really do. I understand that they've been cooped up since March. I totally get it. They miss their friends. And I've armed my kid like he has a mask, gloves, hand sanitizer Mm -hmm. that wraps around his neck. I mean, but at the same time, you know, I've noticed that when he's comfortable, the mask is on his chin. And I'm like, if it's going to be on your chin, don't wear it. So you know what? I can't trust that you're going to wear your mask the way you should. And until I can trust that, then you have to just stay in the house. Nina, hold on. I got to bring you back. Nina, where are you calling from? I'm in Raleigh, North Carolina. And now you got to worry about whether or not your kids are out there being safe because they're coming home every night after hanging out with their kids. I don't know how you do it, Nina. I don't know how you do it. I don't. I don't know if I could trust my kid at 15, 16, 17, 13 years old to be. They're not going to be responsible. Give me a break, Nina. No, no. And they try. You know, I trust my kids to some degree, but sometimes as parents, we just got to say we're going to do what's best for you, and you may not like it now, but you will appreciate it later. Look, I don't have anybody I need to come home to. I live alone. I'm home alone. So I don't have to worry about <laughs> anybody coming in and out, bringing the virus in. Maybe they got it. But if you got two, and some of y'all got more than one kid, now you got two or three kids out there who hanging out with their friends who hanging out with their friends. What do y'all, isolate your kids? How do you do it? How do you protect yourself from your kids? Damn, did I just ask that question? Go ahead, Nina. Look, the way I, I protect myself from my kid, we just create home games. We just figure it out. Whatever motivates them. I'm like, listen, kid, uh, I'm going to teach you how to play spades. 
We're going to learn how to play 500. And, and no, no, I'm talking about distance, man. How do you protect yourself from your kids? If you got kids that go out and you know the COVID's out there, y'all know it's out there. How do you protect yourself from your children? I ain't playing with this question, Nina. Uh, quarantine them. If they come in the house, you know what I mean? Send them to their room. Look. For 14 days. You send them to their room for 14 <laughs> days, Nina. For 14 days. That's, look, put them in their room and they can't come out. It's just, that's simple as that. Wait a minute. I Who, mean, wait a minute. Who believes? Raise your hand out there on social media. If you believe that Nina lock her kid down for 14 days. Nina, you know damn well. You ain't locking that kid look, in the room for 14 days. Oh, Michael, people who know me know my kid is in quarantine. <laughs> I will keep his ass locked up as long as I can. That's my girl. I ain't going to challenge you. I believe you with that response. Family, hip, hey, Nina, thanks for calling. Hit me up. Eight, five. My girl, Nisi's in the building. Nisi, thanks for calling. What's on your mind? Hey, Mike, I'm calling from Atasca City, Texas. Talking about uh, piggybacking on the lady from uh, Port Arthur. Yeah. Why have the governor put a stay-at-home order back in place for Austin, Texas until August the 16th. What? Yes. That just happened? That just happened this weekend. Why'd he do it for Austin? I guess that's where he lives. <laughs> oh, that's right. That's the, that's the capital. That's the capital. Mm-hmm. That's the capital. That's the capital. So do you think you're, you're being... not concerned about Go Houston, mm-hmm. Dallas, and all the other San Antonio where the numbers are really rising daily? Yeah. Let me ask you something, Nisi, Nisi, because I want to get to the heart of what the show is about. Do you think you're being told the truth and how important is it to be told the truth? It's very important to be told the truth because people have the opportunity to make an informed decision when you tell them the truth. Right. I don't think we're being told the real deal Mm -hmm. because our leadership is lacking and the people who have the knowledge, they're pushing in the corner. That's right. They're pushing them in the corner. They don't want them to expose this here because they only look in at economy, economy. It's not about people's lives being saved. It's about economy. You know, Nisi, let me let me holler at you for a second because if we if we just pause for a second and realize just how serious this is, everybody just pause for a second. That they're hiding infection rates and that means they're not contact tracing to find out who else is infected. And that means literally people are dying because they don't want you to know the numbers so he can get reelected. Really? And Mike, what people have to realize, even though the uh, rate, what it is, once you test someone, it takes three to five days for it to come back in most Mm -hmm. cases. But how long the person has been infected with the virus Mm -hmm. could be 14 to 21 days. And how and. Think about all the places you could have been yep. in 14 to 21 days. And people are not wearing their masks as it is, in particular, in these Republican states where people are just trying to support Trump. It's become a political thing. Instead of saying wearing this mask because it's safe, if you wear the mask, you don't support Trump. If you don't wear it, really, that's where we're at right now. People are going to die like this, over this foolishness. Right. This morning, I went into uh, Walgreens at 630 this morning, a lady, and it's big as on boxcar letters on the door, you now Houston has implemented mask mandatory. wearing. Mm-hmm. Mandatory. She in Walgreens with no mask, and I'm like, really? I say, where's your mask? And I'm asking the people at the cash register, are y'all not going to implement They're not going to enforce it. They're not going to enforce it. That's this Texas. Is crazy. This is crazy, man. And, and you know what? Let me say this to everybody. Nisi. Let me grab this other call. I'm going to say it to them. Thank you for tuning in. I appreciate it. I got some more things I want to say to the family. Thank you for calling me out of, what did you say you called her from? Austin, Texas? Where are you at? Atascacita. Atascacita. Right by the Umbo, right by the airport. Oh, I'm there all the time. Chicago, New York, Astacita. Yeah, we're there all the time, girl. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Thanks for calling. I appreciate it. Hey, family, thank you all for hanging out. I appreciate your time. And look, this is very important. I'm I'm going to end on this relationship note. Because I really miss talking to you guys about relationships. But I'm, it's more important that we deal with the age that we're in right now. We don't really have a choice. This is where we're at. As black people, as Hispanic people, as people who care about fairness and equality and abuse and everything else that's been going on in our country. I miss talking about living your dream. I miss talking about your bodies, your temple. I miss talking about relationships and how we can improve our relationships. Because I believe that relationships are the foundation of everything. But right now, the most important aspects of any relationships that we're in is to be honest. 
because as I said earlier, man, and the, the, the reason why I was motivated to do this show is because I know how much dishonesty distracts me. When somebody's lying to me, and I have to deal with liars in the radio industry, you know, not telling me the truth about what we're doing. we got a contract coming up. Are we going to continue to do this? How are the ratings? You know, people lie to you all the time. Be transparent. So I can make a decision about what I want to do next. So you all can make a decision about whether or not you want to take that job or whether or not you want to be in that relationship. Nobody has time in general, right? Because time is the most important thing in the world for us who are grown. We don't like wasting our freaking time, man. But now you're taking away my choices. And that's some bull. Don't lie to me. And that's what people are trying to say to you. Don't lie to them. Just tell them what's up. And don't give me this nonsense about women can't handle the truth. I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear that from men. No grown ass mature man is going to say a woman can't handle the truth. It's not up to you to decide what she can handle. It's your job as a man to present her with it and deal with the consequences. And that consequence may be one, her leaving or her decide she want to see other dudes because you see seeing other women. Put, your, put that in your pipe and smoke it. So we and women, the same thing. We got a lot of lying ass women out there, too. Let's be 100 about this. Ladies, if you know that man is trying to have a, 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 a exclusive relationship with you, and you're not interested, just tell them. I mean, damn, there's so many options out here, man. There's somebody for you if you want to get down any way you want to get down. Why waste the time of somebody that don't want what you want? I never understood that since I was 30. I was a liar and cheater until I was about 28, 29 years old. But by the time I got 30, man, I was all that stuff was behind me. And I want to train guys to have that stuff behind them when they're 18, 16, 15. So having integrity is something that just is and not something they got to learn at 30. You know how many women you destroy and hurt in all those years leading up to learning at 30 and some men still doing it at 60. So, ladies, you too, let's be honest with each other, especially during a time like this where people's attention needs to be on the protests, needs to be on their health with this COVID, needs to be on their businesses because African-American businesses, as you all know, man, are being devastated at a much higher rate. So we don't have time to be distracted with lies from the president, from our governors, in our relationships and our children who are coming home, maybe bringing that COVID. Now we got to worry about whether or not they're being honest with us because they're bringing the COVID in because they're not being safe. This is an age of honesty. Honesty about the Confederate flag. Honesty about those damn statues. Honesty about history. Real history. Not that crap they've been feeding us in the books, but really understanding what's really been done to African-Americans to Hispanics, to Asians in this country, to Native Americans. Oh, my God. If they ever want to touch that history, they will really be in trouble because this is their land that they stole and raped and killed over. So we got to deal with the truth. The only way we're ever going to be whole as a country, the only way you are ever going to be whole in your relationships and in your business relationships is for people to start being transparent. So then we can all make a choice about what kind of relationship we want to be in, what kind of job we want to work out, and what kind of country we want to live in. All right, you all have a good night. I will see you guys here tomorrow night. I'm sure something is going to jump off as it always does, all right? Have a good night, family. Thank you all for hanging out. I'm out.